As a Christian, I'm so far past being surprised at Donald Trump, but I will never stop being surprised at any person who professes to know Jesus Christ that would tolerate this hateful man for one second. Yesterday at his rally, Trump said that migrants are, quote, taking over towns and cities with, quote, military quality weapons, all a lie, fabricated in his hateful brain. This narrative has quickly shifted from the eating cats and dogs, which was a more comical lie, to a more fear-based lie that racist America can really get into. One that aligns a lot more closely with our historic racial fear-mongering, mostly of the black community. And these working-class Haitians who have somehow provoked the wrath of this pampered billionaire who inherited hundreds of millions of dollars, you know, they're very dark skinned, so an easy target here. And again at his rally yesterday, he said of these legal immigrants here legally that, quote, you have to get them the hell out. And the crowd cheered, send them back. And this is how Trump works. And it's how the devil works, slowly pushing the envelope. At first, it was deport the illegal immigrants. You tolerated that. Now it's deport the legal immigrants. You tolerate that. And then what's next? Who's next to join that list? This isn't law and order. This isn't conservatism or Christian values. This is cruelty and hate. In the name of Jesus Christ, who said that those who refuse to welcome the stranger are actually refusing to welcome him and who will be punished to hell for it. Wake up, guys. Trump is dragging y'all to hell with him. Because as our own scripture says, you cannot tell me that you love God when you have this much hate in your heart towards your neighbor.